At the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, we are proud to bring you Education Matters in partnership with EECU, Fresno State, and Chevron. Thank you for watching positive stories about education. Fresno State students are back on campus and during the hustle and bustle of college life, officials are urging them not to forget about their overall health. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson with more on the health and counseling center located on campus dedicated to keeping students healthy. Students casually stroll the campus at Fresno State. For the first time in a while, it seems life is back to normal. They've learned to live with COVID. We've got almost 1,200 students in the dorms this year, and so we work very closely with them to ensure that students know exactly what are the protocols and policies that are in place. But keeping young people well goes well beyond COVID. Fresno State officials say they are here to meet all of their students health needs. It is our primary mission to ensure that all Fresno State students um, know what they need in order to really take care of themselves and their health and well-being is, is at the forefront. The Student Health and Counseling Center operates all year long and provides medical and wellness care for students, including access to a primary care doctor. We welcome students for well visits as well so that we could support them with education, about uh, family history, health problems, and how they can tackle uh, possible health problems in the future. There is a lab and pharmacy where students can fill prescriptions and get over-the-counter medications at reduced cost. Services are offered with the student in mind, and a big part of that is making sure their mental health needs are being met. The college student has a lot going on in their lives and it's a lot to balance sometimes. So we offer like traditional one-on-one -on -one counseling services. We offer group support services um, of different kinds here. We also offer anonymous counseling services here. We offer crisis management services and also case management to address our students' basic needs. Counselors say it can still be a challenge to get some students to ask for help, but believe awareness is making it easier for young people to not only seek mental health care, but support meeting their basic needs. We have lots of programs under our basic needs area. So one is the Amendola Family Student Cupboard, which is the free food and hygiene pantry. Um, but we also have under our Project Hope um, umbrella, our case managers work directly with students that may need um, a Good Samaritan grant. So we have Bulldog grants. They have a saying around here. If you don't feel well in the classroom, you're not going to do well. We want to make sure that we're meeting their basic needs, that they have all of their support services met, um, so they can really focus on their academics and succeed. For Education Matters, I'm Juanita Stevenson, KC24, local news that matters.